How do you resize an image in Photoshop? I'm going to show you two different ways. The first way, if you open up an image in Photoshop, you're just going to have a Photoshop document that is the size of that image. You can go up to Image, down to Image Size. Now this is your entire document. So this isn't an individual layer or image or element within your document. This is your whole document. So you can use this panel to resize it. Now we can select pixels, we can select inches, and we can change our resolution. If we have resample check marked, it's going to resample the size of the image. So it's going to basically upscale, downscale, etc. So even if I change this resolution here to 300, it's going to increase the size of the pixel count to match 300 pixels per whatever the inches was. So this would be a massive image, in fact, a 54 by 82 inch image at 300 pixels per inch, which is print quality. So we're going to bring that back to 72. And then I'm going to go to pixels. You could edit your pixel count here, resample or don't resample, and you can just kind of resize how the image appears. So for instance, if I wanted to know, because this is 72 pixels per inch, so it's not going to print at 54, but what's the real size of this printed? I can type in 300 here to not resample, but sort of reformat what my image is appearing as. So the real print quality of this image at 300 pixels per inch is 13 by 19. And that doesn't change the size if I don't have resample check marked, but it does show me if you bring in an image, a lot of photos are 72 DPI, but then they have like a massive inches unit measurement, but in pixels, they're the same amount. You can see that up here as far as the dimensions of the pixels. So we could see that that way, or we could click resample to actually resize our photo or our image. Now we can resize there, but a lot of times what you're just doing is working with photos within a Photoshop document. Now you could bring in a photo to any document like I did here. You can see layer one is an image. It's this same image that I brought in. It's just kind of inside of here. Now it's massive because the image itself is a lot bigger than the document that I've created. This 1920 by 1080 canvas. You might remember the pixels of this image are like 3000 by 5000. So, I need to tell you something very important here. Everything here that's not a smart object are just pixels in my document. So if I scale this photo down, it's actually going to resize the photo to be smaller in pixel count, which means if I decide to scale it up later, it's going to stretch and skew those pixels and we're actually gonna lose quality. It's an interesting thing here. Basically, images aren't always linked to the original file unless you create a smart object out of this or you do something like place an image in here from file down to place and you can place linked or embed the image directly into Photoshop. This is confusing, but essentially, before you start to resize your images, what I would do is make sure that your image layer is a smart object by right clicking and go to convert smart object. Now we have this little smart object symbol here. So let me show you. To resize an image in your document, you might zoom in or out if you can't see the handles, command or control plus and minus, but you're gonna press command T or control T if you're on PC for that layer. Now we see these handles and this is the free transform setting. So I can start to pull these handles in to scale my image up and down. Now, depending on your Photoshop setting, you might need to hold shift to keep it proportional, but while I'm holding shift, it actually skews it. So I'm gonna let go of shift and just make sure it's scaling proportionally. If you wanted to scale from the center out, right now it's scaling down to the side, to the left-hand side. From the center out, you have to hold Alt or Option if you're on Mac while you are scaling. So I'm holding Alt or Option, and now it's scaling into the center. So if we make this smaller to fit space in our document, right? We're trying to fit it inside our document. 
We can do that, let go of our mouse, and then press the return key to commit that shape, or that size, that resizing. Now I'm going to zoom back in, Command or Control, plus and minus, and you might notice that the quality is a little different. That just depends on the document size. But because this is a smart object, if we double click on the thumbnail in our layers panel, we can actually see that we have the full quality image still saved inside of this smart object. And it actually opens it up as another Photoshop document here in my Photoshop window. Now I can click the X button here and go back. What that essentially means is that when I scale this back up ever, like let's say I made a mistake and I want it actually to be this size, when I press return, it's actually gonna bring that quality back. And so I still have a lot of quality there because it remembers the original photo. If you didn't have this as a smart object, it wouldn't remember the original photo. And as you're messing with your elements here and you're scaling them in and out and down, look at how blurry this gets as you scale it down. That's what Photoshop would think the image is now. But because it's a smart object, it remembers that there's more detail in there. And if you scale it up, it's gonna show as much detail as it can. The reason you don't see all the detail is because there's only so many pixels in this image and you can actually see all the different individual pixels because this image is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels, 1920 by 1080. So literally, there's only so many pixels in this little space. I really went into more detail in this uh, than I thought it was going to, but I thought it was very important because this is a, a fundamental way of working in Photoshop, and you really need to know this to kind of level up and, and not create uh, more amateur work, if you will. This is what professionals do. We use smart objects. We make sure that we retain the quality of our imagery when we're resizing. And these are the different ways that we resize images here in Photoshop.